<laughs> yes! Hey guys, I'm at camp. Uh, I brought some of my favorite camping gear, and I know they're my favorite because uh, I, ju I just packed it. Even if you can sleep in your car, I recommend a secondary shelter. Um, for my for my big LA trip, I took a hammock and a tent. I'm not gonna recommend a particular tent because that is so personal and there's so many options that you can watch some very specific videos for such recommendations. If you watch my videos, you'll know that I can't commit to a single tent. I mean, I think I've had like five this month. It's not that I'm not looking for the one, okay? It's just that I haven't found it yet. I do want to find a nice tent that is like durable and I can grow with, but I just haven't found the perfect blend yet. So until that day comes, I'm just gonna keep playing the field and keep sleeping with as many tents as I can. Now, while I can't recommend this tent because I haven't used it yet, this is the Sierra Designs Full Moon 2. I have very high hopes of this being a very good budget tent. Oh, these do not look like crap, at least. There's again a ton of them. If you have very high attention to detail, you probably notice that I've never had a tent with poles before. It's because I find these things to be so boring. But you can't argue with the results. So you kind of just put it into this little tab. See that? Goddamn tree root almost made me twist my ankle. One of the corners of the tarp is red, so you just gotta connect it to the one red corner right over here. Okay, so that's Velcroed. The zipper definitely leaves something to be desired. Since I'm setting up the tent, I might as well go on to item number two. This is like more luxury. They're basically string lights wrapped in like denier material. Now we got little hooks that you can hook onto a tent. This thing's pretty expensive, but it is designed for tents. So that's why I like it so much. All you really got to do is click the button. Oh, you can't see it at all. It's too bright outside. Like I said, I didn't bring my Hennessy hammock. So how about a really lightweight hammock? I mean, look at this thing. And the bag stays attached. There you go, there's your hammock. Woo! Yeah! Oh boy. Apple! Come! Yes! What I'm talking about! Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. You okay? Oh no, 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 no. Relax, relax. You okay? You okay, baby? You okay? You okay? <laughs> I gotta say, while I haven't featured this thing, I do use it every time I camp. I love that Apple has a like a like a pleasant crate to kind of hang out in. So I have a tent, and he has a tent. And setting up camp is a lot of work. All right, the Big Agnes, long and wide, repeat sleeping pad. I've seen me use this before, but actually I returned that one because it was kind of small. So I went from. I went from the 20 to 72 to 25 to 78. Bro, this is not the fun part of camping. I wanna to get to the point where I'm sitting in that tent and cooking my meal. That's when I start having fun. This is pretty much manual labor. Yowza, this thing is huge. Pretty sure I can go rafting with this thing right now. Do you fit in my tent? That's the question. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh my god, this sucks. This is why people don't camp alone. Um, seat to summit, 
Inflatable pillow, I don't recommend this. I don't recommend any inflatable pillows. I recommend you bring a pillow from your house that you like. But if you're trying to save space, as I am, this one's doable. <laughs> okay, time for some leisure. This is a pretty recent addition, the Big Agnes Mica folding chair. Do you need a chair? No, not really. And this thing is not inexpensive, but ever since I got it, I have not gone on a trip without taking it. So that really, that says something, right? Means I like it. I don't know if putting the hammock right here was a good idea. Ooh! Huh? Why? Ooh. Oh, finally. Yeah. So the next category is cooking gear. Uh, cooking food and eating it outside is one of the greatest pleasures of camping. I'm not gonna go through every item, but I will cook lunch. So then you're gonna see the whole system, all right? What do we have for lunch? The Soto River Pot. I'm actually not gonna use it to cook today because I need something a little bigger. Well, the tent definitely helps on blocking the wind. That's nice. Is that stable? Oh boy like a burger oh my god I would be using oil if I had it but I don't I have butter oh my god that's way too much as well again you're gonna see me make nothing complicated uh, these are just burger beef burger patties all right chopped cheese is a famous New York City bodega delicacy we're talking one of the major food groups on the New York City food triangle I mean, it doesn't come close to pizza, but I have probably had a thousand of these burgers. I think they're sandwiches. I don't think they're burgers. Oh good, I'm an idiot. I didn't bring any condiments. Uh, I still have the Velveeta cheese. You know, I've only recently learned that most people, like outside of New York, don't call heroes, heroes. They call them um, subs or like hoagies. Burger buns are too flimsy, even though that's usually what they are served in. Hey! God, you're so annoying to camp with, Apple. You know, serving it like this is gonna kind of make it look like a Philly cheesesteak, but it ain't. You don't really need lettuce. It's just that when I eat burgers like this without some kind of veg, it feels too greasy. So I bought some. Hey, yo! So, up up. Actually, actually this really is turning into basically a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> <laughs> and it's raining. Okay, well I have good news. It is not raining. It is hailing. What the heck? I've got to tell you, man, that was a surprise. I did not know that was gonna happen. It's been raining for like six days, dude. How much water is up there? Kind of an emergency, so I just stuffed everything into the into the vestibule. Um, it's 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 rather nice actually because the vestibule is pretty big.
I used to have a bigger one, but I found that the small 160 is enough for my needs because I don't have a fridge or an AC. So when is this ring gonna stop? At three. It's two right now. All right, so sit in here for an hour. I've had some pretty fancy tea for the last couple of trips, but one of my favorites is still 20s English breakfast. One of the cheapest teas around. Comes in a bag, very convenient. Tastes great, in my opinion. You know what? Why don't we just wait? I bought a lantern. All right, check it out. This is a propane lantern. There you go. Another pretty cool light source that I can't really show off because it's the daytime. But isn't that just so relaxing? I'm already going to be using a lot of these canisters, so getting a accessory for this when I'm done cooking sounded fun. And it is fun. I think the rain stopped. Good. I got two more pieces of gear to show you. Outside though. The pad is 3.5 inches thick, so even if you're side sleeping, you don't touch the floor. Which is nice. Oh my god, dude, your bed is right there. All right, fine, you win. Take it. Stop, it's hot, dude. Relax. Holy cow. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Uh, so this is my Grail Geopress. It's one of the few survival items that I keep on me, just in case. I've never used it, but it filters out particulates and viruses. So you just take some water with no particles in it, and then keep the, keep the cap open, and then press down. Okay, wow. It takes a second, because you gotta push the water through the filter. There you go. I mean, it's pretty quick, to be honest. <sighs> Clean drinking water, filtered. Never, I've never actually had to use this in a survival situation. And I'm not gonna use it now because I'm not in a survival situation. But very rarely will I leave my house without this, you know? Because like, I do go to a lot of weird places and if I get stuck there and I don't have water, that is one of the quickest ways you can die. And I prefer not to do that. Okay, last but definitely not least is my small forest axe. I showed up pretty quickly last video, and I think I'm gonna go in depth into how to collect firewood and hardwood in a future video, but I can't do it here. This is not my park. It's actually quite illegal to collect wood from places like this. See how sharp this thing is? It just glides through wood. Look at that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that gear showcase. I'm not a professional camper or bushcrafter by any means. I bought all these with my own money for the purpose of fun. And I like them. But obviously, you don't need gear to have fun camping. To be honest, setting all that up was not fun at all. So my next trip will have a lot less gear. I brought all this out primarily to show you. Usually I pack a lot lighter. But hey, I really appreciate you visiting me at camp and I will see you next time. Love you, bye. Ah. Ah. 
All right. You know what? Before I go, if you're traveling a couple blocks or between camps, you don't want to move your car. So something like an uh, e-board or a folding bike or a golf cart, anything that can fit into your van, uh, I find that incredibly helpful.